What's up guys, here are three ways to improve at air dribbling that I've used and that I know are super helpful. This video is brought to you by Pizza Pops, which is the sponsor for the Canadian Challenge, which is a $20,000 tournament that's going on right now. And the live finals are on August 19th at the Scotiabank Theater in Toronto. So if you're in that area, definitely check it out, get tickets if you can, and also make sure to check out the live stream. I've got links in the description for where and when you can watch that tournament. So definitely recommend that check it out if you get a chance. So in this video, I'm giving you three ways to improve at air dribbles. Even today, when there are much fancier ways to score goals, air dribbles are still incredibly useful and really gratifying. I know that a lot of you guys struggle with having enough car control to carry the ball efficiently through the air, so I hope that you guys find these methods really helpful. The first thing may be somewhat obvious, but there are a bunch of great training playlists for air dribbles, and they help you with not only air dribbles off the wall, but also air dribbles from the ground. And though free play is still really good and helpful, this is the best way to do lots of air dribbles, because you don't have to spend all that time in between where you're setting up your shot. There's tons of different playlists to check out. You can find those in the custom training section in game. The second thing that you can do is create Create a private match and turn on the slow motion mutator. This is a great way to practice really any skill in Rocket League, because it's easier to react and make adjustments quicker when the game speed is so much slower. And I found that when I practice things like flicks and dribbles and air dribbles in slow motion, then when I switch back to regular game speed, things often really click for me. So this is really, really helpful. I definitely recommend this. Now the last thing is probably less obvious, but it's super important and really helpful for any move that involves this level of car control, because air dribbles do take a lot of car control. Sometimes you have to fly upside down, sometimes you need to be able to, you know, make certain air rolls and adjustments and turns that are difficult to do in an efficient way. And so this helps a ton with that. Now you do have to be on PC, which is unfortunate for you guys who are on console, but it's the various obstacle courses in the Steam Workshop. And you can do a lot of different things. You can practice flying backwards and flying sideways. You can practice going through the map without air rolling at all. And you can like freestyle through the whole thing once you get, you know, a higher level of car control. And it really tests your car car control and it takes a lot of time and practice, but this is definitely one of the best ways to get better car control fast. Alright guys, there you have it, three ways to improve at air dribbles. I hope you guys found this helpful, and again, make sure to check out the Canadian Challenge live on August 19th, and thanks again to Pizza Pops and to the Canadian Challenge for sponsoring this video. Peace out.